this. Oh, we'll make it look a little more scary. All right. You ready? Let's do this. All right, good. I'm not doing this indefinitely, though. All right? Unless Greenlee starts yapping, I'm going to... I'm just going to cancel the show. I know. All right. I got it. You got it. Yes. Hey, uh, Mr. Lavery's had a bit of a setback. I've stabilized him. I don't want anybody visiting him unless you clear with me first. You got it? Yes, doctor. Excuse me, miss. You can't go in there. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm a friend. I was in there with Ryan before. I'm sorry. He's not allowed any more visitors. Doctor's orders. What? Why? Oh, my God. What happened? I have to see him. That's the truth, isn't it? You won't go to Ryan for help because you're afraid what I might do to him. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, but... I have seen what you're capable of. So you think I'll hurt Ryan? I wouldn't want to chance it. Greenlee, you have to hear this and know it to be true. I could never hurt Ryan. Because if I did, I know that I would lose your heart forever. Do you honestly think that this is easy for me? Seeing the fear and distrust in your eyes, even the hatred when you look at me? You put that look in my eyes when you decided to blackmail me. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like I have much of a choice. You do have a choice. You can let this go. No, I can't, because then I would lose you, and I'm not going to let that happen. I have told you this before, but I don't know if you're really hearing it. I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. Think hard, Greenlee, about how you once felt about me. I know it isn't easy right now. I know you feel trapped. But try to remember what it was like when it was just you and me. Before this town and, and all your so-called friends chipped away at us. We were strong, Greenlee. We relied on each other. We even saved each other's lives. I haven't forgotten that. You see, well, there's the difference. I can't think of anything else. I, I go to sleep every night hoping that tomorrow will be the day where I could finally burn all the evidence I have against you. Because that would mean that our love survived even this. Do you honestly think that day will come? I have to believe that, yes. I have done some things in my life that I am not proud of. I have grabbed for what I wanted and, and pushed people away to get at it. I don't want to be that man anymore. Then don't be. I've been different with you, Greenlee. Because when you loved me, when you believed in me, I was the man I always wanted to be. And I can be that man again. If you would just trust in the love that we really do share. This is Scott Chandler. Leave your name and telephone number and I'll get right back to you. Damn it, Scott, where are you? It's me. We have a huge problem. JR found out that you stole Palmer's nanotech project. I I'm at the beach house now trying to make sure that you're safe, but I... I... Warning the troops? He needs to know. For the future, don't be leaving phone messages like that. It's Scott's cell phone. No one else is going to listen to it. If you want to keep it secret, you have to be a lot more careful. So you're, so you're on board? All of Uncle Palmer's notes, and all the rest of it doesn't exist. OK. Are you all right? I'm still mad as hell about Scott doing this, how it could hurt us. But I wouldn't hurt you. And if I went after Scott, that's exactly what I'd be doing. The 
Thank you. Well, uh, when you went outside, did you see anybody there? I didn't think there really was someone there. Then why'd you go out there? Because of you. Me? Oh, come on, Annie. Even when we're fighting, even when I'm saying the most horrible things to you. I know. I know. Something's there. Sometimes I just physically have to get away from it. Good. I'm glad. Because we have to stay strong. Now, more than ever, JR, too much depends on it. Everything depends on it. Leave me alone, okay? Was it JR? What did he do to you? 